Hey there guys. In this video I'm going to be taking this old golf cart and doing an engine swap with this Predator 420 over here utilizing a uh, engine plate going to weld up the mounts. It's going to have a Comet 40 series torque converter and be chain driven to the rear axle. Originally it had this little uh, Briggs I guess it's not spinning now. But yeah, it seized. It, it was spinning over. It didn't have any compression on it. The rings on it were shot. And I couldn't find replacements. So I just went ahead and got something that I know is a good motor. So this Predator 420, gonna do some mods to it. Not nothing, nothing too crazy, you know. But yeah, first thing I gotta do is cut this down, clean up the engine mount in there, and I'm gonna mate this to that. I'm going to get started. I'm going to use this here moving blanket while I clean up that metal so I don't blow myself up. The gas tanks are right under there. Don't need that happening. I've had the engine in now like eight times trying to get trying to get it to fit right so uh, my back's a little sore. So this is probably where it's going to end up sitting. I had to cut a lot of stuff out. Like all the original throttle stuff. There's a, a linkage right here. And it went all the way around and it was just in the way. Uh, I got to move the slide the plate back before I can weld it. And it's really close to the gas tank the torque converter is. But this is as low as I can get because I want it low for low center of gravity. But this, this will work. Where it's at right now I still have some adjustment for the chain. This chain's going to be real short but it's just adjustment there. Tomorrow I'm going to uh, get some, load the plate in and start bolting everything together. It's looking good. So it's uh, day two on the golf cart project. This morning I've worked on the engine plate and I've got it to sit where I want it. And I've got it, it's not welded yet, but I had to do some trimming, I had to cut off a corner of a plate. But now the engine will slide back and forth and allow me to tighten up the chain that's going to run from this jack shaft to that sprocket right there. It's going to be a real short chain so I just won't have to move too too much. But this, my plan is to get the sprocket to mesh right up in here and it's not going to be a very big sprocket either. You know maybe a 14 tooth. I ordered on Amazon and yeah I'm going to be playing with the gearing a lot I can see in the future. Uh, I'm gonna get that pleat welded in. That's the next step. Uh, make sure it's nice and true and square. So weld in the plate and start dressing up the engine. Dang. Killed the breaker. The engine plate's welded and primered. Just gonna wait for that to dry. And while that thing dries, I'm gonna put some high performance, well not high, I'm gonna put some performance parts on that engine right there. So I threw a coat of black paint on the engine mount, and while that's drying, pulled the governor out of this little predator uh, and the little oil sensor. I'm gonna tap up here to have a vacuum line to run the pulse pump. But that's what I'm working on right now. And I gotta take these studs out as well to put the header on. It's going good. That sun was bright. Oof. So I grabbed my pipe tap. I'm gonna tap this top hole for this little vent right here for the pulse pump. Alright, here's where we are. I took out the oil sensor just to get some more oil in there and allow it to not shut off when it gets low. Um, I blocked off, I tapped the hole to, in here, I tapped the hole to 716 20 and put a, a bolt with an O-ring on there. I made sure that the counterbalance doesn't hit that bolt, so we're good there. I tapped the top to the pipe thread MPT, uh, I think I believe a quarter, and I put this little nipple on there. That's for the pulse pump. So there's no governor. 
Uh, this is the case when I took the governor assembly off. There was a gear right here uh, that's in bits and pieces everywhere. Just because, yeah, there it is. All the other thing I took out. Oil thing, governor, junk. I want this thing to go fast. So yeah, I'm about to put this case back on. I made sure I cleaned everything out and wiped it out real good because that, that oil that was in it was junk. Got the motor all in. It's all bolted down, fuel's hooked up, everything's ready to go. Uh, time to do the first fire. I did break this switch down here, so I had to replace that with a toggle switch. Whoops. I see fuel. What do you think? Please tell me it's gonna be quieter than that. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have a muffler on it. That hurt my ears. Mm -hmm. uh, sounds like horsepower to me. So it runs now. The next thing I need to get, I need to get an, an air boot adapter to put the air filter on there because it's not enough room. Make a, like Casey said, this thing's too loud. Gotta make an exhaust for it. Especially since, you know, this will be used in town. Not trying to disturb everybody. Let's see what else. What else? Uh, I've got a chain coming in. Not a chain, a sprocket coming in. Be a very short chain from that jack shaft to there. And oh yeah, this, supposedly there's this one little piece that fits behind the carburetor that makes these things run better. I guess when you put the adapter plate on them, uh, it spaces it. It doesn't space out enough, and it makes it run like crap. So I'm going to get one of those little plates, probably two of them because the go-kart needs one as well. But in the next, uh, this, I guess that's it for this episode. You know, this was, this was two days of just making this thing fit. This is way bigger than that little thing over there. And it's got the, the 40 series on it. This thing, it had an inch shaft, but yeah, this is just garbage. Complete junk. So this thing is actually, well, the golf cart is now more like a go-kart. You're going to turn the key on, and I, I'm going to put the battery back, so it will be electric start again. So you turn the key on, and it starts, and then you go. But every time you depress the gas pedal, like on the old way, it's going to stay running. Just like a go-kart. With reverse. This thing should scoot pretty good. Um... I don't even know. I'm trying for the gear. I have no clue. So I'm going for more for a one-to-one -one ratio right now. Just to see what happens. Let me know what you think. Stand by for episode two. Where I put a muffler on this thing and make it run a little better. And hopefully get the throttle hooked up and go for a test rip. Should be sweet. Anywho, you know, thanks for watching. Have a good day.